Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with spicy peach coleslaw. That's right, I could eat a peach for hours. They're so sweet, juicy, and delicious. But while I do enjoy them in their fresh and natural state, they make a fantastic coleslaw. And yes, this is the side dish you saw with our now famous coffee cola skirt steak recipe. And I promised I would show you, and here we go. All right, so step one, we're gonna make our dressing very simple. It's gonna be a little bit creamy, so we're gonna start off with some mayo. To that, we're gonna add a little spoon of Dijon mustard. And then for the spicy, I'm gonna go with sambal, which is a ground chili paste. Very delicious stuff, that's why I use it in like every other recipe. We're also gonna add some rice vinegar and some freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're also gonna add some vegetable oil, just a little bit. And then the secret ingredient to all coleslaw recipes, a little bit of sugar. And no, I didn't add any salt at this point. There is some salt in the rice vinegar and we will adjust later, of course. So just whisk that up until it's thoroughly mixed and that dressing is ready. So at this point, we're gonna move on to our cabbage prep. And I'm gonna do like a half a green cabbage. And here is a couple different ways you can shave the cabbage. Sometimes I'll cut the half in half, which makes two quarters. I know, thank you, Mr. Map. And then I'll take that quarter piece and I'll take my knife and just start shaving off that edge, just at a slight angle, just like that. And that will give you some nice fine ribbons. So that's how I usually do it, that works very well. But another alternative method, which may work better if you're not confident with the knife skills, is to take that piece of cabbage and separate it into three or four layers. And when you take one of those layers, which is maybe six or eight leaves, and press it flat down on the board, that also allows you to slice it thinly fairly easily. All right, because it's not going anywhere and you can get some nice thin cuts. In the store, they call that angel hair cabbage, but that's only so they can charge more. So yes, you can buy this in the bag, and I do sometimes. But as you can see, it really doesn't take that long to slice up. So either of those two methods will work. But bottom line, we're gonna slice up a bowl full of cabbage. All right, so our cabbage is prepped and it's on to the peaches. So we're gonna dice up some peaches. I'm using what's called freestone, which means if you cut around and twist, the fruit comes right off that stone. Much easier to cut. And then each half, I'll just cut in half like that. And then simply cut across one way, cut across the other into a nice dice. Very, very simple. And by the way, the second piece had like a really soft kind of bruised spot. Didn't matter, I cut it anyway, because in a coleslaw, it really does not matter. So if your peaches are overly ripe, it still will work, don't worry. We're gonna toss that in with the cabbage. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of freshly chopped chives. I'm not a big fan of the raw onion and coleslaw. I think it can overpower the rest of the ingredients. So with chive, you get that little bit of oniony flavor, yet it's much more subtle, much more mild. So I really like it. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna take our dressing, pour it over, and we're gonna mix it thoroughly. And technically at that point, other than tasting for seasoning, you're done. But I do not think you should eat it right now. For the ultimate spicy peach coleslaw experience, I think we should wrap it and throw it in the fridge for about a half hour to let the flavors develop, and also to let that dressing sort of wilt the cabbage just a hair. It's still gonna be crunchy, it's still gonna be firm, but it's just gonna be a little more fork friendly. There's nothing worse than a fork unfriendly coleslaw. I mean, how am I supposed to eat it? So that's really up to you. You have to legislate your own coleslaws. So I let mine sit for a half hour in the fridge, and then a half hour later I pulled it out, and it looked like this. So you can see it just softened ever so slightly. Like I said, just works a little better on the fork. At this point, I'm gonna taste and adjust for seasoning. As I thought, it needed a little bit of salt and a little bit of cayenne. It was spicy enough, but I knew if I didn't put cayenne, some of you wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. Even with that, some of you will still have trouble. So a little bit of cayenne, one final mixing, and that's it, dish it up. Your spicy peach coleslaw is done. I'm gonna transfer that into a slightly more attractive dish. Maybe sprinkle a few more chives on top. And that is one delicious summer side dish. And really, I don't know why peaches aren't used in coleslaw more often. They are so perfect in it. Just adds that little bit of extra sweetness and juiciness that works so well with the coleslaw and that spicy dressing. Oh, and by the way, I exaggerated that I could eat a peach for hours. Like really, half hour tops. But still, that's pretty good. But anyway, if you're not gonna eat the peach fresh right out of your hand, this is another beautiful use for what many people consider the ultimate summer fruit, okay? So I hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.